Okay, so the next step is, now that we have the template done, which is the T in this acronym here, the next one's B, which is the banner, and then we can move on to the button. So in this video, we're going to focus solely on the banner itself, which is going to go in here. So we are going to need Photoshop. Now you can use any editing uh, image editing software uh, it doesn't really matter you can even use powerpoint believe it or not um, by creating an image and then uh, saving it as but the issue with certain software like a, a powerpoint you can't really not easily anyway get the measurements correct so i'm going to go here and i'm going to go to file and new and using the numbers that we have so we uh, said you know the website the maximum width is 1366 so we're going to go and hit 1366 but please make this pixels you know uh, i've had students in the past make this mistake time and time again what they'll do is they, don't, they won't check this they'll have this on cent centimeters or inches which is worse and they put 1366 there and 1366 centimeters is a hell of a lot larger than 1366 pixels uh, and it will be the wrong measurements and therefore you will lose a mark so make sure that says pixels 1366 now if you remember in the previous video i had this measured out to about here which is where 250 starts which is perfect, makes it easy for me to just type in 250 here. Now, 250 or less is fine, but since I've got it at 250, I want to keep it there. Um, let's just double check, am I happy with that 100%? I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Now, really, this is all preference, it's all down to you, but since there's no um, uh, restriction in terms of the height of the website, it really shouldn't matter. So I'm going to stick to my guns and stick to the 250. Uh, make sure this says white and this says RGB. If this does not say RGB, anything you put in here, if this is on grayscale as an example, that everything you put in there will show up as gray. So make sure that says RGB. And then you press OK. And you will get the same dimensions here as you have here at the top. So the next step is to basically find out what you need on this item. So I'm going to look at my exam paper now. And you'll see that um, banner there we go on the page template so this tells you what you need to have on the page template notice also here before carry on file formats you must use the file format stated on each requirement each individual image must be less than 300 kilobytes the audio, audio file should be in mp3 format and this is a bit um, sneaky really because in previous page uh, papers they will have said make sure they're all this formats whereas this one's saying do whatever it says in each requirement so in some of these sections this is this is a requirement as you go down the thumbnail is a requirement the flyer is another requirement the book cover is another requirement some of these might say jpeg others might say png so this is specifically um, determined by which area or section you're working which criteria um, or requirements you're actually working on uh, all audio files are nice and simple, so every audio file, if they have only one, if they have ten, doesn't matter whatever, however many they say. In this one, they say they need to be MP3s, and the size should be less than 300 kilobytes. So, let's look at the page template. It says the banner should include the logo. Okay, so I know straight away I need the logo. They want us to use a book cover PNG and an audio book. Now, we're going uh, gonna to look at the audio later on. Right now, though, we need to make sure that we have... Um, the book cover and the logo in there first okay so let's focus on the actual image itself and then we look at the audio uh, elements after so let's get those two items book cover png and logo so i'm going to go into photoshop file open and find those two images so i'm going to go into the folder make sure you're in the correct folder so i need to go into my folder so you will go into yours so i'm in here unit one assets there we go so we want to go images and we want to find logo, logo so we know we need the book cover so i can open that up and we need the logo so logo and that should open up just a little slow there we go so we can throw that in there now I've just been looking at that picture, so let's just have a look at that again. Just notice something. Let's have a quick check and double check here. So book cover, yeah, book cover PNG. So let's have a look. So that's book cover. Just want to make sure there isn't another version.
Okay. Now, what's happened here, guys? And this is um, <laughs> right. So you'll notice that the layout of this, the orientation, isn't uh, the best for the orientation of the banner that I have right now, which does this makes it a little bit more complicated for me now because I had one particular design, and now I have to rethink about the think by design. So it might be worth looking at your assets before you think about the design itself. So this is an image that they want, and they want the logo as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can throw that in, in here. in an appropriate fashion and make sure that it looks good uh, and if it doesn't then I may have to think about we think about the, the, the dimensions of the, uh, the banner of, uh, let me say that again, the dimensions of the banner uh, entirely so this is pretty easy, I can just literally click using the black arrow from here and drag it into here there we go, now it depends on where you want it, you can put it on here, you can put it over this side you can put it in the centre, I'm going to work with this on this side for now make sure you use decent white space meaning the gaps around it, you don't want to do this you don't want to have it right to the edge, that doesn't look professional, you want a nice almost like a border going around whatever image and, and images that you use but the issue now is like I said I need this in there so let me try and drag this in, see how this looks and I might need to, yeah it's far too large and it's not the right kind of dimensions so what I'm gonna have to do is yeah I'm gonna redo my banner, so I'm gonna cross all these off so you notice that, keep them there, and I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm glad that I made this mistake, again, because you should not panic on the day of the exam. You make a mistake, fix it. So you can see here, that was my original design. But looking at uh, the design of the image that they want us to use, they're basically saying that we must use this book cover PNG, which is a uh, portrait it makes more sense to have a banner that's longer as well so the problem with that then is that we don't really want to make that so long that the buttons go right to the bottom so what might make more sense is having a design similar to this I'm going to show you now I'm going to copy this page I'm going to pause this video and show you what I mean 